I expanded as, as I, I continued, continued to ask, ask where, where did science begin? Who was building the foundations of science as we know it? A teaching of science that makes science look like one linear phenomena that started in the West a few hundred years ago uh, then creates the culture of blindness and arrogance. Whereas a history of science that allows the recognition that countries like India, China, the Arab world have made huge contributions to what is called modern science, then you celebrate the plurality of not just the knowledge, but you start respecting the culture. David Livingston was a missionary, uh, and he, he went up to Rhodesia, as it was then, uh, and one of the descriptions of David Livingston was, David Livingston discovered, discovered the Victoria Falls. Now, discover, discover means uh, it is something that was unknown before. So, all of those black people who lived around Victoria Falls didn't know there was a Victoria Falls until David Livingston came along and he said, hey, <laughs> you, you, you know you guys here? Yeah, this is uh, Victoria Falls. Oh, really? I mean, we didn't, yes, Victoria Falls discovered by David Livingston coming all the way from Scotland. And, and, and that, that has always happened. What does this mean for us? What this means for us in terms of our education is that we have been given a dose of knowledge and information that basically started in the wrong place. That's crazy. This is not education. This is a trick. And so I think that what is important and essential is that we get young people, all young people, to know that on the table of humanity, uh, there, everybody has contributed. The whole world has contributed. Somehow, amongst the many disparities and hundreds of years of appropriation, erasure, destruction, and dismissal, scientists arise from every group. So when I came here, I knew I wanted to be that person on the documentary space in and National Geographic. But I had never seen any black people actually doing the science in those documentaries. I mean, the only black people are the ones that are driving the Jeeps. They don't get any speaking roles. The narrative is what rationalizes, justifies, gives people and understanding, which sometimes they believe to be scientific, that actually isn't, of the world that they're observing. The second thing that constructs privilege, though, and it's every bit as important, probably more important, is the actual um, construction of inequality at the material level. So the narrative can't do it alone. We found uh, 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 quite amazingly, in fact, that uh, people could not heal uh, if they did not know the truth. It is time to rediscover the scientists. 